What's up guys? Welcome back. It has been six months or slightly over six months, I think. So I wanted to give you guys a kind of bit of uh, insight into kind of what six months could be of uh, gaming, YouTubing um, and kind of give you the expectations, what, what you would expect. You might be doing better, you might be doing worse and kind of just keep keep on going, trying to keep that positivity going and not feel disheartened about you know, where you might be in your current kind of YouTubing journey. Um, in this video, I'm just going to kind of go through what I found has been good, what's not been so good, how I've tried to adapt and kind of change to the videos um, and my kind of style of producing videos, uh, what sort of games I'm including, what games I'm not, why I'm not, just kind of everything, a kind of broad way of looking at kind of my YouTube as a whole at the minute. Um, so as you can probably see from this screen, I'm only on 51 subscribers, which, you know, it's good i i think it's good um i know some people get kind of in the same sort of time get thousands and you know that works for some people i'm less kind of energetic as kind of some of the youtubers like you know speed he's obviously very enthusiastic very out there and that's just not me i don't think i'd be able to keep up that sort of energy constantly um you've got like penguin zero who's a bit more chill more kind of easy to just listen to and stuff that's the sort of youtubers i kind of listen to um when actually looking at my YouTube, um, I've obviously recently been doing a lot of Elden Ring. I was also doing um, Ghost of uh, Tsushima and I was doing Helldivers 2 and I was obviously playing my own games in my own time and games with friends. All Playing that many games is, I, I just couldn't keep up with the flow of it. I, you know, jumping from one game to another game and trying to remember the controls, remember what was happening. It was just becoming too much for me to do all of that and also do editing on that side and kind of having to go through different different uh, recordings. Um, it was easier to kind of focus solely on one game for a bit, um, see what I've got. Then I, you know, when I'm going back to the editing, I kind of know where I've left off and it wasn't like I was having to kind of, you know, go through the whole process of working out where I was again and, and what's been happening and everything. So um, in terms of my current games, that is kind of why a lot of Elden Ring's out at the minute. Obviously, I'm also loving it. And um, <laughs> it's hard when you're loving a game, as I'm sure a lot of you gamers um, are fully aware of. Once you're in a game, it's, you know, it's hard to kind of jump over to another game and try and fall in love with that at the same time. So um, going off, what I'll probably show you first is uh, let's have a look. So on my content, obviously this is all my videos I've uploaded. So with all my videos, I started off with, if I go to playlist, it'll be a little easier. Um, I started off with um, my Resident Evil ones, um, just because I thought, you know, I, it's, I don't really like horror games. And so I thought with the kind of level of scared I would be, it might make really good footage. You know, it's a good place to start, good grounds. With that, I started off with my heartbeat sensor. Um, you probably see it in my uh, my most recent videos as well, because I keep it going just as a nice little gimmick to go with it. Um, and that kind of keeps my heart rate going. And you guys can see how I'm finding it and how I'm not. The problem is with that sort of thing, um, with jump scares, your heart doesn't tend to just, it does a little spike. But if you don't, you're seeing it as the heart rate, not as the... Um, ECG, I think it is, which shows you your actual rhythm. So when it actually happens, if there is a jump scare, it might take, you know, 10 seconds later for your heart rate to kind of climb to that point where you're kind of feeling the thrill, obviously with excitement or anger or whatever, you know, whatever you're feeling in the game, it will also show you that as well, which is why I kind of like it's a good gimmick because you kind of see how I also feel in myself while playing. If I'm feeling like things are going well, my heart rate's probably a lot higher because I'm like, yeah, this is going great. If if I'm not or angry, you know, it's the same as well. But um, anyway, going back to uh, Resident Evil, started with that. Obviously, just kind of a bit of a background. I have never done any video editing i've never done any kind of graphic design so i don't really know what i'm doing with thumbnails don't really know what i'm doing with the editing side everything was new to me with this i obviously like my gaming i well don't like it i really enjoy it um and i just wanted to you know see how it goes i i hopefully you guys you know might tell me different but i, I think i'm quite easy to listen to and you know i just wanted to see where it goes and it's just a bit of a hobby a bit of a fun thing to have on the side at the minute anyway so that, that's kind of why i've started and why i even became a youtuber um Anyway, so with uh, Resident Evil, I'm not naive about it. I know when you're a, a, a small-time YouTuber, you know nobody's gonna really be like, "Oh yeah, I'll check them out," because you know people 
like who they like and they tend to like the popular people and less likely to go for the new people because as i just said the the video ed editing is not going to be good the the actual game and finding your rhythm is not going to be there so it's just going to be a bit more kind of disjointed than people who are well set up so i was expecting it not to go too well with resident evil anyway because it's you know it's very particular you know not many people tend to watch horrors or if they do they send me in have their own youtube as they watch um with that being said um i also went for the let's play uh kind of gaming style that's kind of what i find is easiest um kind of talk as i go along commenting on things you know it's quite natural for me to be able to do so i thought it'd be a nice one to kind of start with I, I, with stuff like um reviews and stuff like if i did the same with elden ring or like where to find this where to find that i'd have had to play like elden ring isn't it could be an 80 hour game so you could play 80 hours and then would have to go back through those 80 hours to show you where those things are or i could have you know cropped it from the videos and been like oh first time i found it okay i'll make a video on it i hadn't thought about that at the start and obviously once i'd started playing it's you know it's a bit late by that point because there's stuff you've already missed but that's why I started off with the let's play um, and just kind of seeing where it goes with that. That's probably what I'll keep doing, at least for the time being, because obviously I'm still finding my way, still seeing how things are kind of planning out. Going on to uh, what I then wanted to do next was with um, YouTube, obviously, if, 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 from my own experience, if I went on someone's profile and they only had, I don't know, two, three videos of a gaming channel, I'd be like, oh, they're not very big, probably less likely to kind of subscribe and follow follow them along. You know, you tend to follow what's going, what's trending, and if they're new, that you're not going to. So to kind of help with that, I then started um, doing my kind of old... I, I went back to, funny enough, just happened to have a look back through some old Xbox um 30 second clips that you used to be able to do little captures and i had hundreds of them or you know a, a good portion of them some of them absolutely no point at all in uploading them and then obviously there was other ones that i thought oh actually you know this would be good to bolster my youtube you know if someone came onto it at least there's something else other than just resident evil and the kind of let's play style so i then went on to um upload those daily alongside my resident evil and with that being said if i go on to my videos these have been uh kind of some of my most successful videos um so if we go down to there's one da, 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 if i go to my most successful ones as you can see some of them you got kind of a couple of thousand on a few obviously some in the, in the hundreds some of them not even breaking you know 20 30 so um obviously a massive mixed portion but this also helped me see what people are looking for um you know there's a lot of sea of thieves people seem to like Res um red dead redemption bit of halo um and you know so on and so forth uh witcher seemed very popular if i go on to here da, 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 da. you know here this one here the witcher 3 it's just a dark souls easter egg and you know that's hit nearly 30,000 views so that's my most successful video is literally a 26 second video which I for no reason at all would have expected it to do as well as it has but you know that's how some things go um but I wouldn't have known this unless I had obviously gone and uploaded a load of um old Xbox shorts so or Xbox you know captures um if I just went off my current ones like um Elden Ring yeah so if we go on to the Elden Ring ones you've got you know, some of them's got a couple of hundred, some of them a couple of thousands. Probably on average, you're looking at kind of late twenties ish. Some of them in the hundreds, as you can see. Um, and you know, just going with it. And so, you know, that could have been my standard is just kind of twenty thirty views, obviously. And it's by chance that having those captures have actually helped loads because it's brought more people into the channel. People have then gone, okay, I've checked out, you know, a thirty second video. What else has this person got? And I think if you're into youtube obviously i have only got 51 subscribers don't take my word for it at all it's just my opinion on it obviously um but how i look at it is if you've got more content to draw put more people in you're going to have more traffic coming to your channel so i don't think there's a negative in having more people to you to it because you know there's more more to them for them to see and stick around and be like fair enough this person's got a lot going on um i get i get that i don't have a lot um but that could be going on to kind of thumbnails because it's not stand, standing out so much. I've started trying to make a more colourful, more um, 
eye-catching because that's kind of the level level of my thumbnail creation like skills at the minute obviously i'm going to try my best to make a more uh kind of appealing more kind of what everyone else is doing um but at, obviously as you can see some of them here is kind of where i stopped but i'll go back through and kind of get them all a bit more colorful a bit more eye-catching and see you know see if that changes anything um my kind of thing is if everything's really colorful and really kind of eye-catching if everyone's doing the same style it then becomes the norm like it then doesn't become eye-catching because everything's eye-catching it just becomes a big colorful you know mess um and where i used to work we used to uh call it we used to ha all have to wear high visors and people then became kind of blind to the high vis because everyone wore them so they don't stand out everyone it is the norm so that's kind of my way of looking at it with with colorful um thumbnails obviously i'm trying to get into the colorful but like change it slightly make it slightly different what makes yours stand out different from the other colorful ones you know that's what i'm trying to get at is more not don't not do not make it colorful i'm saying make it colorful but make it unique make it your own um which is what i've tried to do with mine so what i feel currently is going well and what isn't going well really is i've been consistent i've done three videos every every week from you know for the last six months um and that consistency from what i've done all, all the research i've done helps with algorithm stuff but it gets to a point where obviously it's the colors it's the thumbnails that attract people in it's the it's the title of the videos it's you know you as a person you need to be engaging and i know <laughs> i know i need to be more engaging and i'm trying my best obviously um to come across like that and kind of be unique in my own way of creating videos but another thing which i've uh, kind of got to is at 51 subscribers after six months i know that is a low amount and so for the life of me i couldn't think how how to get feedback it's quite hard to find feedback and so i you know put a few videos up i did like these uh, channel updates um kind of saying what's going on see if anyone kind of commented on that which i obviously appreciated some of you guys did um that did go along when i tried to then um target from that feedback on how to kind of go, approach what I, games i play next and everything like that um but it just kind of i needed a bit more and so i went to reddit and honestly if you guys are any of you guys are new youtubers reddit just use it man it's such a good um uh platform to just ask questions and that community is just great at responding giving feedback you know some of it can be quite harsh it can be quite blunt but you've got to take it in your stride you just gotta you know not everyone is going to like what you do and you know it if you are resilient and you just keep pushing through it it's this time it's at this point where the people who aren't like that are going to drop off and they're the ones that don't succeed if you're there with i don't know even less than me with your subscribers keep pushing through try and learn from why it might not be working be your own critic and kind of work through it but also use that community use reddit brilliant brilliant um platform for it to kind of bring new people in and ask these questions um so that's what i did with mine and i said look look guys i don't want obviously people um i'm not doing it to try and get more subscribers i just want feedback on my own youtube channel put up the question got some really good feedback um some of that feedback is that um i'm doing a very let's play style gameplay and it's just it's not what it once was it's there isn't the interest anymore in that sort of um gaming style people like the reviews people like commenting on on what's new what's happening and i've tried to then target my let's play two new and, and upcoming games i've done my hell divers i'm gonna obviously there's a few other things i'm gonna do with hell divers um maybe do kind of shorter clips of it because obviously it's a very like full-on game and you can make quite a lot of uh footage and content from it instead of just doing like full-length games you know there's other ways i can approach that elden ring very very popular game at the minute especially with the dlc at the minute um and i love it and so it's just an easy one to come across if you're playing a game that you are not interested in or it's just something you can't do it's not going to do so well you have to, like that's what i've noticed is <laughs> like the bunker horror games risen evil was okay but the bunker it took me so long to psych myself up obviously being a horror game just to play it it just didn't work because i then came across and i was talking constantly but i wasn't really doing anything in the game and I, oh the stress out of that game just got to me but the problem is if i'm playing a game i'm not enjoying i'm not going to be so talkative i'm not going to be interacting so much i'm not going to be kind of 
this charismatic person. So definitely do something that you enjoy because after amount after x amount of time you're going to start not enjoying it and this the whole journey and everything else with youtube you've got to enjoy it otherwise uh, can't even speak otherwise what's the point in doing it you know you've got you this is this is meant to be fun it's meant to be a hobby it's meant to be this thing on the side there's obviously the monetized part as well but that's that's the kind of the add-on the extra the the kind of bit to go on the side not the kind of main goal you want to do it because you enjoy it and if you enjoy it that's when the other stuff will come along so going back on on the reddit that's where i kind of heard about they, them saying you know the thumbnails the other things the the kind of content being a let's play style it's more streaming the problem is for me with streaming is i feel like you need to have that consistency still and i can't always be consistent in times of the streaming being like this is when i'm doing it this is when i'm doing it i've got four hours spare because i don't always have four hours as you probably see in some of my Elden ring videos at the minute an hour here an hour there and i kind of crop it all together and make a video out of it it's when i've got the spare time because editing takes hours even though a lot of mine it's just speeding bits up cropping bits out it's still if it's a 30 30 if it's a three hour recording i've still got to watch three hours worth of recording before i even start editing it because i need to see what i'm keeping what i'm not keeping going through it is there stuff i'm talking about is it relevant to what i'm making as the video there's a lot kind of involved with it with it so um with the whole kind of process with this i really wanted just to kind of show what is going well what's not i don't know if there's anything in particular you guys are wanting to see um this is obviously people uh watching throughout it's obviously less because um recently i've stopped doing my xbox captures because i've just ran out you know it's years worth of footage and it's just you know i didn't record anymore so um this is why all this is dropping off the same with the watch hours obviously if you don't have the views you're not going to have the hours um but it shows what's still going well um and what's relevant at the minute um as you can see top three are still xbox captures so you know you've just got to you just got to keep at it guys if if this is something you really want to do and this is and you're really struggling it's that that point that you need to just honestly just keep going keep pushing through the <laughs> the easiest way i relate to it is like the gym it, i'm into my fitness i like the gym i like going i like being consistent with that as well if you go to the gym if you've not really if you're not a gym goer and you go for the first week you're not going to see results this it doesn't happen that quick um maybe even after two three weeks you might not see results and it's the same thing it's those demoralizing points where it's like i'm putting in all this effort and it's not coming out that you know there's nothing to show for it and it's you know you keep going months go past and then you'll start seeing a difference and that's just what you got to keep going just got to keep going it's been six months and i know you know there's other people out there who have done a lot better but just be relentless push on through and hopefully i'm hoping you guys watching this it might give you if not if you've got more views than me more um subscribers at least it gives you a little kind of ego boost that you know you're doing great and that's the main thing guys you just got to stay positive use what you can to kind of keep pushing through people if you've got 51 subscribers or more you've got people who are interested in you you know interested in what you're making so you know it might not be as much as some of these youtubers who have got you know tens of thousands even hundreds or millions but it's still someone there are still people who are there and committed to kind of watching your videos so keep at it you'll get there i'm hoping i'm getting there this is me trying to be an optimist and smashing on through so um let me know what you think of this let me know if there's more you wanted to see in terms of my analytics or my audience or the reach if there's anything else i should include in these sort of videos if this video is even helpful or if it's a waste of your time <laughs> hopefully not but i'm hoping you've kind of got a bit of insight in kind of my background a bit more a bit more about me a bit more about how i've kind of approached things um but yeah that's it as a whole um i don't know if there's anything i haven't touched on um but as a whole that is why i've kind of gone gone through the games as i've gone through because i realized horror games weren't consistent or weren't as popular as i f first thought and so i go for the games i enjoy which is you know the Elden ring and stuff so there we are thanks again for watching guys and as always the like and subscribe as we've been talking about does go a long way for me and i'd really appreciate it but if you don't like it don't bother that's all good you know 
check someone else's videos out. <laughs> you know, that absolutely works fine. You know, I won't take it to heart. So cheers for watching as always. And I hope I see you in the next video.